Welcome to the Kingspiration Podcast. This is the place where you'll learn how to get unstuck and gain momentum in your life and business. Each week, we tackle the real aspects of entrepreneurship, personal development, relationships, and fitness. I'm your co-host, Ethan King, from Atlanta, Georgia, USA, entrepreneur, TEDx speaker, and best-selling author of Wealth Beyond Money. And I'm your co-host, Justin King, no relation to Ethan, from Cape Town, South Africa, entrepreneur, speaker, and business growth strategist. Our journey crosses continents and cultures, sharing wisdom and experiences to propel you forward. Welcome to Kingspiration. Let's start the conversation. All right. So on today's episode, uh, Justin has a goal that he shared with me that I think uh, I told me to share with all of you guys. But it's not necessarily the goal, but it's also the philosophy behind it, the reason behind it. Uh, it left me super inspired. So Justin, why don't you tell us what you have going on here? The problem is once I share it, then I feel like I'm going to be held to it. So yeah, just <laughs> there we go. Now you're going to do it. Let's go. Yeah. So I absolutely have, and it is, it's, it's a real goal, but I challenged myself to, to run hundred mile race before I turn 41. So I said that I would do it in my 40th year. So essentially I've got exactly a year. Just about exactly a year from now until I turn 40. So roughly just under two years to really train and complete a hundred mile really. But I would love to do this close to my 40th birthday as, as I possibly can. So kind of a year from now, the idea would be to, to be lacing up my shoes and doing it for a hundred mile. And the thought process behind that is to do something that's really going to challenge myself, take me to some pretty dark places. But all with the, the ultimate idea of learning something about myself, something really deep, or something, something more. How far can we go? How far can we push myself emotionally, physically? Where this idea stems from is I came across the, the, the concept of a, a Masogi. Do you think it is pronounced Masogi, Ethan? Or do you think it's Masogi? Yeah. It must be Masogi. Japanese. I'm gonna, Masogi. Yeah. I'm going to go with Masogi because it reminds me of Mr. Miyagi from the, from the Karate Kid. So, yeah. M I S, what is it? M I S O G I? That's it. It's M I S O G I. And this concept of a Masogi or a Masogi challenge is to do something so incredibly physically, well, an incredibly tough physical challenge at least once a year. So essentially something physically demanding that you ordinarily wouldn't be able to to finish. So a hundred mile is up there with with MSOG. Or for somebody who is really, I'm going to say, not in a great physical space currently, maybe coming off the back of an injury or or a lot more overweight than they'd like to be and very, very unfit. It may be doing a five kilometer walk on the same day morning. I know globally there's a park run, which is a huge, a huge thing. So competing like maybe the park run on the weekend maybe something but it's just this idea of challenging yourself to something physical physically demanding that you're really going to have to apply your mind to to get across the line. it's going to be uncomfortable but by doing that you set yourself up for the rest of the year you know like i did that that was hard i had no probably no right to do it but i i got it across the line and cheaper that's amazing and yeah. i put my mind to something i can actually do it and that that can translate into a lot of the other areas of your life as well. Had you heard of yeah. the, the concept before we started chatting about it? No, I hadn't heard of that concept, but I love it. It has me pumped up. I'm wondering, like, what's going to be my Masogi for this year? It doesn't have to be at the beginning of the year, right? I mean, it's just like, I mean, it what it does for your confidence, right? It, it totally takes you to another place. And you feel like you can conquer anything in your life. I remember after I finished my first marathon, I felt that it's like, oh man, I did it. I, I still feel that way. It's like, God, I can't believe I ran 26 miles. And, you know, there are a bunch of marathoners out there. So it's different for different people because you're talking about running a hundred mile. And you, I think you were talking about doing it, not even just a race, but on a trail, right? Which makes it even more insane because, I mean, how long does something like that even take? Is it a whole day or? Oh, at least I'm like it. Probably 24 hours. You're probably looking at 24 hours to, to do that race. Yeah. yeah. Which is crazy. And as you say, the majority of these are actually trail running events as well. So there's a lot of preparation. There's a technical aspect to it. You're running through the nights. There's isolation. So, yeah. I mean, the 100 mile, it, 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 yeah, it's, it's tough. It, it could have been tough. Yeah. And then say, we'll challenge you in a lot of ways. But a lot of people, and this is, this is the beautiful thing about it. Somebody's 100 mile. Carries. 
some people who have easily completed these 100 meters they can do 250 races. In what? The it's like a, a Moab, it's, a, a, it's called the 240, which is a 240 mile race. And oh, when you start working that out, and for, for South African listeners, it's, it's what? It's 1.6 kilometers per mile. So 100, 100 is 160 kilometers. 250 miles is five, close to 500 kilometers where they just go and they, they sleep the, the pride. It's, it's unbelievable how far mm. the human, I mean, you can push the human body and you can push the human mind. And the majority of the time, it just becomes mind over, mind over yeah. everything else. Um, yeah. so again, that's, that's really taking it to an extreme. I'm certainly not where near to it. I don't have any right to be speaking about it. I'm setting myself a goal of doing, it. I think working up to them, I'm absolutely going to find some smaller savings for myself. And probably one yeah. of the first is going to be finishing a 50k. I've done some ultra marathons in the past, but I haven't been training as much as I should have. Right now, I shouldn't be able to do that, but I'm, I'm going to say, at least one weekend, you just don't put your mind to it, and you, you, you're going to go and finish that, and let's get it across the line. That's going to set me up with that confidence, which is a great word that you used earlier, to, yeah. to really move towards the, the goal, and hopefully that will spill into other areas of life as well. You know, mental toughness is one of the greatest things you can have. I, I tell my kids all the time, because they're into sports, you know, basketball, soccer, volleyball, and really, all, all, it's 90% mental. Like, yeah, you have to have the skills and the practice and the muscle memory. But when you're on the field in the game, it, it's, it's what's in your head because you got the crowd distracting you, the other team, people around, you know, your own voices in your head that might tell you you can't do it. So whether you're playing golf or whatever it is, it is, it's a mental game. So even you running that, that hundred mile trail run, like you, and you already, you're already aware going into it. It's in your head. If other people have done it physically, that are, you know, of your same stature, then you know you can do it physically. It's just, can you do it yeah. mentally? So you inspired me to find my Masogi for the year as well. Uh, real quick, I was watching this guy who ran the Antarctica Marathon. Have you, you've, you've yeah. heard of that? Yeah. And he was, it, it was a, it's a reel on uh, Instagram if somebody wants to look it up. I don't remember who the guy was. But he talked about how as he was running and his feet would sweat, that it the water would freeze around his socks. So you're he's basically like running on <laughs> he's got ice, frozen feet. <laughs> he's running on ice. Can you imagine how painful that is? And he said, Yeah, some of the other people who ran the race would they would stop and dry off and change out their socks, put on dry socks and shoes and then go back at it. But he just pushed through the pain and thawed out at the end, which I, I just I just think that's absolutely insane. Now I was a mix between like inspired, like, oh man, yeah, I want to do it. But, and then the other half of me was like, there's no way I will ever do anything like this. It sounds absolutely insane. It's, but. it's and there's somebody who's just competed a full Ironman, either, I think it was in the Arctic or Antarctic, somewhere. Like that. Mm-hmm. The first person to compete full Ironman. So again, I think a lot of us and a lot of people will look at them and be like, why the hell would you want to do that? That must be. <laughs> So unpleasant. There's, that's like there's a guy by the name of of Ras Ras Cook, the Englishman. He ran from the tip of Africa all the way. I'm trying to think, he's, he's running full east, a full west coast of South Africa, all the way to the, the top of Africa. Something like thousand kilometers. And he calls himself the hardest user. I think he's about six or seven thousand. Well, probably not about six thousand kilometers into this journey. Now. The thing is that he is enduring. If he's running an ultra marathon every single day, I mean, he's being held up at gunpoint at knife point, he's down, he's got blisters all over his feet, he's had malaria, all these things. And he's doing it for charity. So there's a big part of that, which is a big part of it. But he's also doing it to prove something to himself. And man, to have accomplished what he has done already, the man has had to do seriously deep. It's, it's, it's inspirational. It, it, it's, really, it's crazy. But it's crazy inspirational as well. Yeah. Well, guys, what is your Masogi? I, I challenge everyone listening to this to, to figure out what your Masogi is for the year or for the quarter. But let's all push ourselves and do something physically challenging that we, we don't think we'll be able to do. And then when we pull it off, see your life go to the next level. 
Get out there and get moving. That's that's yeah. the starting point. Get out there and get moving. That's a wrap for today's episode of Kingspiration. We hope this conversation sparked insights to ignite action in your life and business. We're on this journey together, sharing our challenges and successes to help all of us take the next step towards building momentum and ultimately reaching our goals. If you found value in today's episode, please share it with someone else who might benefit and leave us a five-star review. And remember to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on our weekly conversations. Until next time, keep rolling, keep growing, and keep being inspired.